Have you ever wondered why you set your weight loss goals, lose the weight and go back to your old ways of doing things? Values are innately a part of every individual on this planet, instilled in us at a very young age by our parents, society and cultures. They are important to us and ultimately dictate our behaviors and beliefs without us even realizing it. Without them, life will be so difficult as values provide us with purpose and help us make decisions. Some who don't have a strong sense of their values can sometimes struggle with making decisions, such as whether to go to school, move to a big city, get a new job, or who to marry. Those who have a greater sense of their values are better equipped to look at a choice and decide which option better aligns with their values. Compared to goals, values are generally unwavering. I will argue they don't change over time, but they rather evolve. For example, a goal is I want to lose 10 pounds, and a value is I want to be happy and healthy. I like to think of values as the directions on a compass. Values set the course and point us in the direction we want to go. There are specific destinations along the way, and this becomes your goals. Despite reaching one destination, we never stop. Instead, we infinitely continue on the course of our values have set, reaching one destination after the other. Goals, on the other hand, are finite. They are a great motivational tool and give us markers of accomplishments to strive in for the short term. But unless they are tied to our values, once we achieve our goal, the question becomes, now what? In living a healthier lifestyle and trying to lose weight, we see much of the same. My clients constantly tell me what their goal is. I want to lose 20 pounds. If I could just get down to 150 pounds, I'll be happy. The list goes on for numerous iterations just like this. Goals can be motivating because while you are working towards that goal, you put on the blinders. You ignore the cookies in the lunch room. You don't have that extra glass of wine. You bring a lunch with you to work. You hit the gym. You essentially do everything that is necessary to lose weight and work towards your goal. The problem with using goals, especially when it comes to weight loss, is that you either reach that goal or you don't. If you don't, you start beating yourself up, believing you are a failure because you could not reach your goal weight. In turn, you revert back to your old lifestyle and end up gaining the weight back and possibly some more, all the while further loathing yourself for putting on weight back on. Now, that, what if you do reach your goals? Well, the blind has come down. You start to give yourself permission to have that cookie in the lunch room or have that extra glass of wine because, hey, I lost 20 pounds. I deserve to treat myself. Again, over time, you revert back to your old habits and end up putting on all the weight that you lost plus that. At least your next attempt and the cycle continues. What if you set a health or weight loss goal based on your personal values? Instead of saying, I want to lose 20 pounds, how about I want to be healthier or lose weight so that I can keep up with my kids? so that I can have less pain in my knees, so I can enjoy my retirement, so I can live the life I've always wanted to live. Notice the difference? When we set goals based on our values, we don't just stop moving forward when we reach our goals. We maintain our progress or we set another goal and continue to strive towards our values. It is about the journey rather than a specific destination. What are and how they aligned to your wanting to lose weight at this specific moment. Our Dream Body Fitness challenges are purely based on values as the primary driver and the primary motivator.